when the UN convenes on September 25th, the General Assembly is going to declare a new set of sustainable development goals commencing with the end of this year into 2030. And the context behind this is that uh, back in 2000, a series of eight goals were announced by the UN to take on some fundamental problems that the globe aspires to, uh, to solve. Human poverty, hunger, water and sanitation, gender equality, concern for the environment. And so looking back on those last 15, it was interesting to see what kind of progress was made in achieving some of those goals. It was pretty uneven. Some countries managed to decrease their absolute poverty. Others remained the same. Uh, there were many critics along the way. People talked about the lack of analytic rigor that went into the shaping of the goals and how do we measure their progress, how do we realize them. But having said that, instead of abandoning uh, the chance to move forward and think about the platform, the 192 countries came together and essentially said that, look, we can now broaden the platform, be a little bit more ambitious, and begin to think of some new, uh, not only new problems that we want to solve, but the way they relate to each other and how they kind of mutually enforce one another. So what are some examples? For the upcoming 2015 goals, you're going to see an emphasis on uh, the preservation of biodiversity. You're going to look at the use of the language of inequality. That it's not just income growth, uh, but really looking at social stratification and different groups that are excluded within their societies, regardless of where they're at in terms of their, their development. Uh, progress. So to see an expansion of the goals, to see new language, gives me some hope that the, the world is, is galvanized to, to really um, take, on, take on some of these problems.